Okay, thanks, Ankita. Thanks for joining. So today yeah. we are going to discuss about how the Slack uh, CPQ approval that we received the notifications and uh, all end user um, they are going to approve the records from the Salesforce uh, from the Slack channel. Yes. Sir. So let's start with the step by step process. What all we have to do uh, today? We have to install two applications as a from my app actions. One is called Salesforce. CPQ Advanced Approval Slack app. And the second one is called Slack channel, the Slack app applications. So from installation side, these two apps has to be installed in your Salesforce org, wherever you have been connecting your Salesforce CPQ environment with the Slack, Slack channel. Now I'm moving to the, my next step, um, where we have to create a field set on code. This field set, is purpose to require what all field information we would like to publish on a Slack channel so that if if end user is going to or Slack member is going to view more of these records information, they can see okay, what is the code number, what is the status, what is the net amount, what are submitted date we have. So these information will be displayed on a Slack channel with help of this particular field set. Now I'm moving to the another uh, uh, setup, the third step. We have to also set up a custom metadata records. For uh, these are all, there is a one custom metadata called custom um, Slack view, Slack view more. So this, for this custom metadata, we have to create a three records in the system. As a view, one is called approve, the another one is called reject and the view more. So these three uh, values that we have to provide. Can you click on a cancel button and then click on, just go back to the again Slack uh, view configuration custom method uh, and click on a manage records. So in custom metadata calls, metadata we have to create a three records. Slack view configuration, click on a manage records. And then we have this rejected view, then Slack view configuration and the new view mode. So these three button will be displayed on your Slack channel. Now our fourth step, which is the final step. Whenever first we have to install the application on a Salesforce uh, on a Slack channel also. So Slack application, you can go and install this application called Salesforce CPU advanced approval for the Slack purpose, right? So that you can go to your Slack uh, application and then browse for the application name called Salesforce CPQ Advanced Approval. Then you have to install this application on a Slack channel on your particular workspace, wherever you have been getting those notifications. Choose the appropriate uh, workspace and including, uh, you have to authorize your Slack channel with the, um, your CPQ environment. So the moment you have authorized, you will have those connections set up done. So these are the basic measures that you have to follow. Now I'm going to run through how the how system will work. So what we did, we have created two level of approval. One is called BP approval, which is me. And another one is called first level, which is as a manager approval, which is Ankita is there. We have regional manager approval, which is Ankita is here. This is at step 10 and the second step is will be your VP approval, which is myself that I have put it as a end user. Now, if you go to the, let's, let's see the, the current setup that we did, how it is been working. Now let's create a code and let's submit for an approval now. So this is what the sample code that we have created. We are just going to create a new code and then click on a save button. By default, this approval status will be marked as like draft status, right? So as of now, our status is draft and then we are going to submit for an approval. The moment I did a submit for an approval, my Slack channel, like I have a two person in charge that we should to receive the notifications. So the moment I go back to my Slack channel, I will see this particular record is required for an approval or reject. So I can see the approve, reject and view more. Let's click on our view more. Let's see what all field information that we are getting. 
So this field information is coming as per the setup that we did in our field set. Right? The code number, status, net amount, submitted date, and submitted by uh, user full name. So these are all information will come under this um, view more pop-up option. Just close this pop-up. Let's approve the record and we'll see that we have to reach out to the my step, which is the second step. After confirmation of the first step, let me share my screen, then we can discuss. Just quick run through. Okay. I have also received this notification for an approver to approve the record. So this is the code number that we have created. This is step 20. The second step is myself. So I'm just going to approve this record. Once we have approved a final approval, so we will see the notification will come to our Slack channel also that all records or every approver user has approved. Now I am asking Ankita to share her screen and then uh, she can see, uh, she can uh, showcase that how the court uh, status is changed to approve this case. Let's go back to the court. This. Now you see the approval status is changed to the approved state, right? So this is how our Slack channel uh, integrations we did for our Salesforce CPQ advanced approval uh, setup. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining this session. For any further update, uh, please subscribe my channel CPQ hours. Thank you all. Thank you everybody.